Hello. That was an abrupt beginning. Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Leah and Ryan from FeathersleyPigeonAuctions.com. If anybody in the comments can guess, well, I'm sure the title of this video will take, give it away. Let us know where in the world is Ryan today as I send it over to Ryan and do what I do best. Check to make sure we're live on Facebook and on YouTube. Ryan, over to you. Hey. Guys, you see, this is what happens when I have some paints, some crayons. I just decide to draw myself a mural. No, 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 I didn't draw this mural. We are at the Schmacher Breeding Center. It is not the nicest day, and I will show you that. Weather is kind of drizzly, rainy, wet. Real, real wet. It's wet. That's why I've got my hat on. Just not a nice day. Reminder, guys, this show works best when you all participate. What does participation mean? I talk to a lot of people that shake my hand and are very, very happy. And I ask them all the time, do you make comments? They say, no, we just like watching. Go, you got to make comments. The comments help me. Remember, talking to yourself isn't so fun. But talking to you guys, the followers, that's what makes it fun. So get off your ass and ask, get off your ass, ass, and ask questions. Maybe not to me, maybe to the breeders. Talk, pigeon talk. Pigeon talk works best, eh? You ever talk to yourself? It's not the same as talking to somebody else. So right now, running a Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, it is the Dishmacher Auction. That's right. And I hear these people, blah, 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 blah. I can go and buy them, blah, 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 from there. No, you can't go there. Because you're not there. You didn't hand select them. And if you didn't hand select them, you're not going to feel good. You've got to pick the right ones, the nice ones, the tight ones, the beautiful eyed ones, the beautiful ones. You know what? I spent pretty much two days here selecting pigeons for you guys. I want you to have something very, very nice from this breeding center that's been, I can't even tell you how many years. I don't know how many years, but a lot of years. And there's a lot of pigeons. They go through about 7,000 pigeons a year. So on that note, I hear Leah is back with us. I think maybe next time I'm going to take paint over that and make it a grizzle or maybe a mealy. It needs to be a silver or a mealy or get my head out of it. But uh, Leah, back to you. We are live on Facebook and on YouTube. We want to say welcome to everybody. Mark Johnson, before we start this uh, tour, we've got a question. Didn't you go to the Golden Doif last night, Ryan? Uh, absolutely, I did. I went to the Golden Doif. Uh, I had the people from the Pigeon Boss tour with us, Australia, America, and Canada. We went... Um, it was a little different yesterday. It was loud. It was busy. And we did the Fugari show. So we did the Fugari show in the morning. And I wanted to show the guests the, uh, the awards and the auction last night. So we did, uh, we did both. We got both in there. And all of our audience was, uh, was open. Yeah, it, it was, was very busy. It was very busy in there last night. And it was very loud. And uh, I think, Ryan, you thought doing a video there, nobody would be able to hear anything anyway. It would just be a, a lot of noise, right? Yeah, and the other thing was I had guests there and stuff. And I'll tell you, thanks to our audience, thanks to the people that tune in and, and follow. Uh, it's, again, another one of those places where guys are getting you drinks and saying hi to you and shaking your hand and, and all the things. Uh, it's really, really nice. And, and sometimes it's hard to do a show. Because you want to say hi and thank you to people, right? But right. Uh, next year I'll, I'll get the I'll I'll get the whole show in from start to finish. But uh, we're gonna drink hard, and by the end of the night, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Back to you, Leah. As everybody is climbing on board, that is right, friends. We are live at the Schmacher Pigeon Center, the breeding center, where they do such an incredible job of uh, showcasing those that have come before us, champions that have that have really paved the way for all of us who fly today. And we are very excited to be hosting a vintage matched pairs on our website, feathersleepigeonauctions.com. Part one is going to close today at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Ryan and I will be back to showcase the beautiful uh, 10 lots of matched pairs direct from the Deschamacher Breeding Center, where Ryan did spend an entire day going through all of the birds there and, and, and pairing these uh, couples up uh, for you all uh, the way he thinks that they should be paired. We've got some beautiful pairs in the sale. Ryan's going to take a walk around. We're going to take a look at some of the breeders featured in uh, today's sale, the Vintage Match Pair Sale, and take your questions. So please, as Ryan says, the show works best when we all participate. If you have questions, let us know in the comments. Ryan, what are we looking at? Oh, I just look at the old photos that they put up. And, 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 you know, if you see anything here in the backyard, you see Pigeon Loft, 
here. You see pigeon loft there. You see them? Neighbor homes. Take a look here. Another's neighbor home, right? Look at the pigeon lofts here in the photos. These are two different homes. You know, uh, like they say, in the in the fifties and that there was the hundred and fifty thousand lofts in Belgium. So just to, hey, it's the old old families. This is what sort of we brought. I wanted to bring something different. Sometimes you got to uh, think outside the box and be a kid again and say, oh, I wanted a pair of Muleman's. I wanted a pair of Scions. I wanted a pair of Janssens. I wanted, well, hey, you can't just go there now and get them. You can't do it as much as you'd love to. It can't be done. So we're going to bring this to you. And guys, here at the Schumacher, they have hundreds of birds. But reminder, they're all not real super nice in the hand. Again, there's different, 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 different. And what we wanted to do was try and bring something real nice for your hands, for your eye, beautiful eye sign, good bodies, good muscles, good wings, good feathers, nice pigeons. A pigeon that, hey, yes, might not be high performance thoroughbreding because it's an old family, but what is it? It is a 10 in your hands or a good heavy nine, real quality. And, and that's and what it's about. And you know, not to mention Ryan, it's also it's also keeping the strain going, keeping these famous flyers from back in the day. We're talking, you know, early 1900s, 1800s, uh, 1920s, 1950s. We think it's really important to keep those strains going, and that's why we decided to do this match pair sale. So you could take a pair of Hormans into your loft and keep the strain going, keep the bloodlines going. That's why the Dishamacher Pigeon Center has this beautiful facility where, where they have these famous breeders' pigeons available because they also believe it is important to keep the strains and keep the bloodlines going. And I think they do a fantastic job there. And uh, that's what Ryan and I wanted to, to bring to Feathers Elite, an opportunity for everybody to, to incorporate you know, a nice pair of strain, uh, old old bloodlines into their breeding program and keep the lines going. Go ahead, Ryan. Yes, hopefully you can hear me okay. Make sure everything's working good. Um, just had one of my earbuds die, but that's okay. Let's put another one back into my ear. But uh, yeah, Leah, you said everything correctly. It's about being a kid again, isn't it? Well, it sure is. And it's also about, you know, given paying homage to those that have come before us who did such an incredible job in a time when, you know, these, these gentlemen, these breeders, they didn't have internet, they didn't have YouTube and Facebook and, but they really made a name for themselves, even without all of, all of the tools that we have today. And that is saying something about them as pigeon fanciers and about their bloodlines. Who are we looking at now? Oh, just, I'm just looking, just looking. I was going to say, Leah, if we wanted to start off on lot number one, we can. And, and we're going to start and we're going to walk around and we'll just discuss and have a little bit of fun. Reminder, guys, these birds are in Belgium, so they are offered worldwide. Don't be shy. All the bids are in Canadian dollars. So our European friends, our British friends, our American friends, you're getting a super discount. Absolutely. Cool. Our beautiful lot number one, direct from the Deschmacher Breeding Center, is a beautiful matched pair of Wits Comines. They are pure white pigeons, right? Do, do we have their little booth there, their little loft there that we can find? There's so I am many. going to look. Uh, well, and you're, you're going to see as I walk down there, uh, where roughly where they are. Uh, I believe they're down here on the, the right or the left coming up. Interesting group of pigeons for these whites. Nice. They're 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 very they're very buoyant. They're not overly large, but they're tight. Got nice eyes. Again, there's the bull eyes, but when you look into them, they look uh, they look quite nice. And these ones here again, they have so many to choose from, and we went through them, and they all weren't beautiful, and they all weren't perfect, but we took our time and we selected, selected, selected. And the pair that we have for you is very, very nice. They go together nice. And we will bring them up here. Here's their, here's their little area, which I believe they should be in. Oh, yes, great. They are. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Again, specializing right out to 450 kilometers. So a good middle, short middle distance, middle distance pigeon. Uh, what more can I say about them? And they're here now. They got different pens of them. 
These are their breeders. Oh, well, we've got a little bit of feathers on here, but let's just see if I can get in there and look. So this is the Wits Calmines section at the Deschmacher uh, Breeding Center. And yes, we do have a beautiful match pair available. Uh, auction closes today at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. You will have an opportunity to see the pair uh, when we uh, have our virtual auction closing later on this afternoon. Um, Ryan and myself will go through each of the lots. You'll be able to see the lots on offer. Uh, virtually as the auction closes. And where do you guys go to bid? FeathersleyPigeonAuctions.com or FIPAEU.com. All bids are in Canadian dollars. That's right, folks. So for those of you in America or the UK or Europe, you're getting a nice discount. Pigeons are in Belgium, so they can be shipped worldwide. And what would, what did they specialize in again, Ryan? I missed that. Yeah, they're your, your you know, from zero kilometers to 450. So They'll do the short and, and the early middle distance, no problems. Uh, and they feel very, very buoyant. Again, it's all right here. Two strains that were put together by the Schumacher Pigeon Center in the 1970s. And uh, it's their own whites again. They say that they're large. You can feel it over, hey, since the 1970s, they bred the largeness sort of out of them. They're still long. I don't find them very large. And the ones we selected were a little longer, not so large. I know uh, Loft Manager Richard, he is a fan of the whites. He's got his own Icelandic whites. And he was looking at this pair and said, what a beautiful pair you put together there, Ryan. So good job on that one. Thank you, Leah. Back to you. <laughs> what are we looking at there? Is that a, what is that? It's a, um, I got a, I wish the door was open, but door's not. Um, but inside, it's, it's, it's like a, they use that in the war, and I, I got in there. I didn't get in there, but I, I used this here. Uh, it's a little wet. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's like a war, a pigeon war bath, uh, Tra transporter, well, where, they, transporter. where they transport the pigeons in the war, right? Uh, they use them in the war time. Cool. Pretty nice, yeah. They got to get that inside. It'll rot away. Okay, what next we got one next up, for our next Ryan, pair? We're gonna we're gonna put you on a little scavenger hunt. We are now looking for the Muleman's loft, as we have a beautiful pair, your lot number two, of Muleman's. What a beautiful color on these, Ryan. What do you call? Uh, I know that the color police are gonna come for us because I'm sure I said it wrong in the video. But what, or maybe I can ask our audience, what do we call this color? that the Muleman's sort of, that's what they're known for is this color. What do we call it? Ah, uh, well, again, I'm almost afraid, eh? You know, know when you get afraid? Because <laughs> you get, let me ride that donkey donkey. While we um, look at the Muleman's here section. Yeah, here they are. And we'll, we'll have, we'll get the audience to participate here. And for our color experts, the Muleman strain, what do we call this color? Let us know in the comments as Ryan is at the Muleman's loft there at the Dishmacher Center. Do they have a little plaque there, Ryan, that we could take a look and? Uh, yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. I got these here. Now you see the color of the the uh, the hen on the right. You see her? See how yeah. she's she's like a, a a blood red, dark red, whatever red. <laughs> um, in time, if you see the cock towards the left of her he starts to have the white feathers to come through. Well, over years, they will continue to molt and they almost go to white at some, some point. So a certain point, they molt the feathers. They go from reds to whites, reds to so, whites. So it's quite interesting. It, 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 they almost look like a type of a, you could say a red grizzle, but then the police would kill you. You could say a red model, but the police would kill you. So you could say, I guess it's a recessive red probably the police would kill you so i'll let people pick what color they want to call it but i say oh those are re i say those are recessive reds stan no, agrees with wrong. you stan agrees he okay. says recessive red frank icorn says a recessive red so throughout the molt will, will these pigeons then change like throughout the season their color as they go through the molt each each year each year Amazing. each year they get a little whiter a little whiter Oh, each year. Okay. So as they get older, they get, they would get, they get whiter. Is that correct? Am I right there? That's right. Yes. Yeah. Carl started with pigeons. 
The pigeons born at the age of 12, okay, base Muhlmanns go back to 1961, five pigeons. Joseph van Denenbosch uh, purchased, okay, various conditions. Wouters, Muhlmanns, okay, Muhlmanns, Muhlmanns, da 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 was robbed from his top pigeons in 1986. He got robbed in 1986 and 1987. Uh, National long distance champion in 1999, okay? So zero kilometers. No, nope, these birds don't really kick it into gear till 250 to 1200 kilometers, okay? 1200 kilometers. And I'm gonna walk here and I'm gonna hope I can show you this. I'm gonna try. There is a cock that I really like. I would have, I would have bought him, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get a shot to see him. Where is he here? All right. If you look in here, you see there, see the cock in the right on the box in the hole. Yeah. See him. Yeah. He used to be all red. Now do you see him? He's all, he's all white. He's sitting in the nest bowl. Amazing. He's just got a few white flights on him. You understand? Yeah, I get so, that. that. That's uh, that's quite the characteristic of that strain. Of course, we're talking about the Muleman's. Yeah, and, and you, when you come here, you can go through them and you can look. You can see all the different families. And again, it takes you a little while. If you get someone here at the Deschamacher to help you, they'll come through. There's my man there. He gonna he gonna show. Hey, Chief, can I can I ask you a favor? Can you show me one pigeon? There we go. I'm going to put you to the test. There's a oh, the Muleman cock on eggs, the white one. The white one. Uh right here. I think he's a cock. Now, we're going to show this this pigeon. He would he would have normally started off as red, eh? And molt through. Look. How is he? You like him? He's good. Good. And he keeps what molting a... the red out, eh? What yeah. year is he, Molt Ryan? Now, what year would he be? He can be? breed out this against the red ones. Out, out the red ones, yes. What year is he? He's a 16? Uh, 16. 16. He's a 16. Can you grab one of the recessives? We're going to show you a recessive. What color we got next, Leah? What are we up next? Uh, next up is the Hormans. Hormans. I'm going to ask him for the Hormans to see if he'll do a Hormans. Hey, one. Reminder, guys, for those elite pigeon auctions, we are here at the Schumacher. Anyone around the world can come and select pigeons. You can come and select these pigeons yourself. Have a fun filled afternoon. The helpers here are always good, they're willing to go out of their way. They like always a nice tip. I like to tip around 300 euros. There, there he is. Look at that nice cock, eh? What a beauty. Now, what year is that one? What Old year? Choco. Huh? Old yeah. Old Choco. 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 Yeah, chocolate. Yes, yes. And he's a... Uh, 20. He's, a, he's of 20. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nice qualities, eh? I'll let him go, man. You handled enough pigeons, you're not going to do that no more. So there you Correct. have the Muleman's. There we have the Muleman's. If anybody is interested on the beautiful pair of matched Muleman's available on our website, feathersleepigeonauctions.com. This auction will close this afternoon at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. That is New York time. We're going to go to our next lot in our vintage matched pair sale. The Hormans, which is another color strain that is a little abnormal from your usual checks, blue bars, and grizzles. And if anybody in our audience knows what um, the color, our color experts, what are, what's this color called? What do the Hormans yeah, this... pigeons, what are they known for? What color? Oh, geez, I, I can't give you that color. I mean, We've I'm not going to go down that road. Our, our <laughs> audience members, I'm sure, will... Let us know in the comments, but that is right, folks. We have a beautiful matched pair of Hormans available at FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. Ryan's going to take a walk over to the Hormans section so we can have a look. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, the Hormans are down here with the, uh, with the tiger grizzles. The problem is 
because you know how people steal. They got them under lock and key here now. So you can't get down in here to see them. Okay. But they're down in here. Um, so I'm going to see if he comes back. What a fantastic pair. The cock is larger. He's longer. He's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful color. And the hen, oh boy. Maybe I would say that she's a mosaic, but just a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, looking hen. Very, very nice. I think a beautiful match pair. Sure, her size matches his perfectly. And again, it's for fun, guys. It's for fun. It's a little bit of fun. So relax, take a breath, have some fun. We have a question from Golden Eye Loft. That's a great loft name. Hi, Ryan. How are you today? Any long distance birds in the auction? Up to a thousand kilometer race. Please advise. Thanks. Yeah, sure, there are. We got Ardens with the crests. 800 to 1200. Right there, we got Ardens up. We got the Hormans. Hold on, here he comes. Oh, wait, is he grabbing pigeons? He's got a pigeon in his hand. Let's see if he's got one. Hey, do you have any Hormans inside? The pretty colors? Yeah. No, the special. And the Hormans, what's the distance on them? Um, it's middle distance and great distance. Middle distance and great distance. Yes. All right. You coming back this way again or no? Yes, I come back. You come back? We, can we, we, can we, see, yes. Can we see the uh, Hormans and we're going to see the Tigers? Okay. Voila. Pa patience is key, folks. Patience is key. This is what's fun is. This is what it's like being in Belgium at the Schumacher. The guys that work here, they're, they're great. They really are great. Uh, Stan says mosaic. So he agrees with you that the color is mosaic. Whatever color it is called, it is. They are absolutely beautiful, this pair that Ryan has selected. We're going to take a little walk over and hopefully we're able to see some of them. They have to put them under lock and key because I think they're pretty colors. Must be. Uh, well, yeah, not only that, the people, the people, steal, people like to steal. We got Van Wanroy's coming up, maybe in, in auction too, 800 to 1,200 kilometers. Now, remember, guys, these pigeons of this distance, they take some time, right? They take some time. They take time to, to develop. You, you don't get them at 800 kilometers as yearlings. This is two years old and plus. So they're not, they're not going to be your, your super fast pigeons. They're going to be steady, slow, kind of like you're not going to notice them. And then you'll notice them when it's time to kick in, or that's when you should notice them. So we will wait. It is raining. It is drizzling. It's kind of shitty out, but we're going to take this shitty day and make it absolutely beautiful. Because you know what? Any day that you're with your pigeons, it's fantastic, isn't it? I don't give a shit how bad the weather is. Take a look at him. He's coming down here. I'm going to have to get him a, I'm going to have to get him a beer, man. He's working hard. They are great at the Dishmacher Pigeon Center. I know, Ryan, when you went to select these pigeons, uh, you worked with Lars, um, who works at the Dishmacher Pigeon Center, and he, he helped you. He ran around and got all the birds for you, and you guys spent the whole day pairing them up to see which would make the best matched pairs. And we want to give a big shout-out and a big thank you to Lars at the Dishmacher Pigeon Center. They're a great group of people there, and I absolutely love what they're doing uh, for the sport. And keeping these strains, these old strains, these old bloodlines, um, keeping them going. I think it's a fantastic job what they do there. Yeah, well, so do I. And, and as we wait, you know, we, we will get back to the Hormans. Leah, you know what we're going to do? Let's throw up what's our next lot because I think they're almost in line with each other. Okay. We can come back Ooh. to them and just show the Hormans. All right. Oh, the boy. next lot up, your lot number five. Let's. Uh, reduce it here so we can see you, Ryan. There we go. Uh, direct from the Dishmacher Center, this is a match pair of Dishmachers. Again, beautiful color. I always get it confused. And I what do I call them? Zebra. Zebra grizzles. Zebra, <laughs> zebra grizzles. <laughs> and they are tiger grizzles. Absolutely beautiful pair of uh, direct Dishmachers. Your lot number four. Is that their, stand, their lot there, Ryan? Yeah, we're going to come in. I'm going to get him to bring out uh, a real tiger grizzle so you guys can see it. Okay, they come in white and they come in, what's the other color? White and uh, black and white, uh, black grizzles, black model grizzles. You got the large waddles. Again, the Schumachers 
uh, again, specializing, hey, from zero right to 1,200. So sort of an all-around pigeon. Let's just get a, the, per- uh, if you could do, yeah, after you finish reading, just show a photo of them there. They do a nice job of putting a photo of the breeders. Very nice. Yeah. I, I think overall, the way they set this up, it's nice. It's shit weather, but it's nice. And we're going to see, hopefully, uh, this goes okay here. Let's see if they'll show two more, the Hormans and the Grizzles. Leah, they close here at around three. So I just want to make sure we get through them all. Oops. Oh. Which we oh. will. Okay. It's, uh, okay. Got about 13 minutes what? to go. Perfect. 13 minutes sometimes is all we need. It's just that little bit of time. Everything is there in black and white, folks. <coughs> Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersleyPigeonAuctions.com or FIFAEU.com. Our part one of our vintage Ma- Valentine's match pairs closes today, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We're hopefully going to be able to take a look. You, you ripped, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It may have been a mistake. Um, Thank you, though. Five minutes? Yeah, five. Come to you. No problem. Five minutes, they come to me. It's going to give me five minutes. I always like our website, Leah. You know how it is. Beautiful. Five minutes, he comes to us, so it's okay. Man, it's so wet out here, it's pouring. But these grizzles here, I'm going to read about them. Let me just plug this in. Uh, okay, what does it say about the grizzles? First pigeon loft was built on the roof of their parent's house, uh, partner's house, in 1927. The brothers raised the first pigeons. In the 1930s, the Schumacher Pigeon Center was published, okay, blah, 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 blah. 1963 Feed Factory Natural Grains. So this is sort of the own, their own blend, their own breed. Uh, give pigeon fanciers an opportunity to purchase from these strains to give all fanciers an opportunity. Yeah. So it's kind of a mix. What they put together, and there it is. Your lot number four. Hopefully they're going to be able to show you. If not, I guess we'll just go on to the next one because we've run out of time. Well, they're not going to close probably right right at three, but I'm waiting here. Again, this was just a bonus feature today, guys. Just a bonus feature. Our next Sorry one up, we've got uh, the stickabouts, your lot number five. Beautiful match pair of stickabouts. Mm-hmm. Again, super nice pair. Super for the distance. Distance, 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 these pigeons. Very balanced, very buoyant, and check out the eye sign. Phenomenal. You know, it's amazing. I was talking with Stuart today from the UK, uh, and we talked about the old families of pigeons and the eye signs. Quality of the eyes were just so tremendous. They were beautiful. And uh, what can I say? They, they, were, they, had the, they had the good eyes of the old days. The new days, they don't have the same kind of eyes, but... Uh, it is what it is. Not sure where the stickabout loft is. There's so many there to oh. pick from, which is uh, which yeah. is great. They've got a great selection there. I, I think they've got to have 40 lofts, Albrechts. Who else we got here? I'm looking for the stickaboats. It's funny when you're looking, sometimes you don't see them. Van Loons. Oh, we have a Van Loon. All right, let's just, uh, so you don't have to run around here. Let's, uh, your lot number 10, the final lot in the sale is a beautiful pair of Van Loons. What does Van Loon specialize in, Ryan? Four to 800, but I, I see them. They're good at even 250. They're a good pigeon, good fast pigeon, good all muscled. Was, uh, you know, they're super strong. And the strain crosses very, very easily. Very, very easy. Okay, the game from Antwerp, and uh, there it is, right there. Hey, the Van Loons, excellent pigeons. The ones we selected, I, I buy them again in a second. Very nice. My favorite. If you see another one there, we will stop and uh, we'll Let's show see. the lot photo. Got Jansen, uh, Loose, Arden, Cyan. Okay, hold on, we got Loose. We got loose. Let's, uh, Muleman, we did. Prost Rusin, no, not yet. Hold on. Rusin's part two. Part two. Oh, here's loose. Now, we look a lot alike, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Okay, the loose. Okay. Hey, they were from the East Flanders. Zero to 250 kilometers, basically silvers and blacks. 
Uh, he got his pigeons back from his bit high uh, provincial of Flemish Brabant, uh, former vice president of the club. Okay, doesn't say much, but these were sprint pigeons. These were fast pigeons. Giddy up and giddy up and giddy up and go. Is their loft locked as well? Uh, no, there's some looses in here. Again, blacks and mostly silvers. It, it might be a bit hard to see, but they got silvers there on the ground. There they are, silver cock. And you can see the silver cock in ours. You see the black hens. Certain times of the year, they pick, they get picked. People come pick, pick, pick. But there's a pair right up in the top corner, you see? Yeah. A pair of sil silver and a black. Again, sprint pigeons, full body pigeons, strong forearms. I like for, for those of you who are interested in seeing uh, these strains, we will be back on live later on this afternoon showing all of these pairs live on camera. So you'll be able to see them as uh, the lots close. There we have Jansen, which uh, near lot number nine, I believe, in this sale. We have a beautiful pair of Jansons, a red and a blue. Mm -hmm. And that blue cock is that beautiful slate blue cock, like a slate tile on a roof. He's absolutely beautiful. Long, the hen's nice and tight. They've matched perfectly together. Beautiful eye sign. The cock's got a tremendous eye. And uh, it says, most famous Belgian pigeon strain in the world. Do I have to say more about that? Became famous performances by their pigeons by thousands of pigeon fanciers in Belgium, the Netherlands and Germany. What can I say? The Jansen brothers, there they are. Take a look at them. They look like a happy group. And I believe at the at the uh, De Schmacher Center, they've got a museum there where I think they've replicated yeah. their living room, I believe. Yeah, that's right. They, they, uh, they, they I guess when they took the house down, they replicated the, uh, yeah, the living room. And you see the hat and you see the table and the chair and where people went and sat and the photos that were on the wall. It was there. We have a bidder over on YouTube that said, I bid on one Van Loon from the FCI PA Matok in Thailand. Well, good. He likes the Van Loons. So we've got two supers available. FeathersleepPigeonAuctions.com, our vintage match pairs. Part one will close this afternoon. Who else do we got there, Ryan? They're right, they're right here, the colored ones, I think. We're going to show you the Hormans. We're going to show you the Hormans. We're going to show you the Tiger Grizzles. And I think the last but not least is the Science. Can we show all three and then we're good to go? Thank you. First, first up, you're going to see these Hormans. Just grab a, grab a nice, you know, the nice cock we looked at earlier. We're going to show you the color. What would you call the color, my friend? The, the color. Minims. Minims. So we say mosaics. They say. Let's see. Boy, it's raining now. Good. Look at this color, yeah. yeah. Look at the color. You see it? Beautiful. With the silvers there, you see it? Oh, beautiful, eh? Now, some would say it's a mosaic, but beautiful eye on that pigeon as well. Quality, nice, eh? Don't let him, he'll be gone in a minute, he will. So there are your, the uh, Hormans, again, more for distance, and we're going to show Tiger Grizzle. Show me your favorite Tiger Grizzle cock, the one you showed earlier, the one that you liked, the black one. See, even the workers here, they have their favorite ones. And then, Leah, we will throw up. After this, I will get the the Scions, because we haven't shown them, have we? The Scions and the Ardens. Scions and, hey, can we do Scions and Ardens? <laughs> Is this okay? Uh, okay, good. Here we are. This is your tiger grizzle. What a nice cock he is. What do you think? More, more for sprint? It's more sprint. More sprint. Look at the beautiful eye. Beautiful pigeon. Ten years old. Ten years old. So you've been doing a lot of breeding, eh? Imagine all the people that have pigeons from him in the world. And uh, we want to see the uh the ardents and then the science and i'm good i'll close this leave it open oh. 
Okay. Here we go. We're going to come back around. We're going to show the Ardens and then the Cyan's. You see those crested Ardens. We're not... Oh, I'm not going to say. I'm going to say this. We're super lucky to have that one there with that green eye. You don't see a lot of them. Huh? Yeah, very. They don't, they don't come. You don't get a lot of them with the green eyes here now. Over the years, it slowly breeds out. But that one there, that cock on the left that you see, he's got it. I love these ones. I love them with the little crest. I love the war paint. I love everything about this beautiful pair. Lot number seven. Direct Ardens from the Dishmacher. That's okay. Breeding as long as I got the crest. It's good. And guys, you come down here, you can select, spend all day. Oh, yeah, he's the nice one from before. Nice and strong. Uh, look, look at the nice crest on him. Beautiful checker white flight. Nice, yes. Strong, a little bit larger pigeon. And there you see the eye. You see the crest. You see it all. Super. Thank you very much. Reminder, guys, you can come down here and select yourselves or you can go on our site and, hey, get a pair. Next one up, I think we're going to go to Cyan, right, Ryan? Yes, we're going to show you the Cyan's now. You guys are open how many days a week? Five days a week. Monday to Friday. What what, uh, what time? Eight till, Eight till four. Come on down. We're going to show you the last lot or the last pair are the science. What do you know about the science? What do you know about the science? Yes. It's a long distance. A very old strain of pigeon. Long distance, very old strain. Slow. Yeah, slow. Slower. I thought they were... Science. Here we go. Yeah, I think we got to go over. They were by the Muleman's. At the end of the Muleman's. Uh, yeah, at the end here. Here we go. Science up next. And what do we call the coloring on these, Ryan? You had an interesting name for them. Now, you you wouldn't call this yellow the color. You call it? Isabel. Silver. Let's see a yellow one. Please, you pick your fit. Or Isabel color. They keep it easy. They keep it all in pens. Pens, pens, pens. And again, that old family. Very nice. Let's see. Here we go. Oh. Beautiful, nice. Again, and that's that color. Some would say Isabel. We say yellow. It doesn't matter. It's just nice. Again, more for distance, 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 and just nice to look at. Beautiful. See the nice wings. The feather's always nice and soft, eh? It's nice and soft. Super soft. Nice color. Like a, like, a, like a feather pillow. Soft. That's the yellow one? That's the yellow one, yes. Yeah. Gonna show one more. We have the yellow there to the, the, the cock is a yellow, and now we have, this is sort of, the, what would you call this color? It's also is Isabel, but like a, a, a both. That's right. There's two t two types of, of this color, lighter, and the cock that we seen earlier was darker. So you get the best of the best. Nice, eh? Again, nice color, nice eye, nice body. Thank you. Very, very good, Leah. I think that's good. We're, I mean, we're pretty damn soaked, but hey, it's going good. Thank you very much. I'm going to flip this around to me. Thank you. Here we go. Ryan's getting soaked. 
And uh, there's just a quick little tour of the Dishmacher Pigeon Center, reminding you guys to join us today at 3.30 Eastern Time over on YouTube and Facebook. Ryan and I will go through all 10 lots in the vintage Valentine's Day matched pair, part number one. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at the lots, Ryan. I think you should probably go in and get dry because it looks like it's pouring rain. Yeah, it, it is pouring rain. The sale's going good. Guys, tune into our hotel tonight. It's all up in the room so you can see them live. Enjoy shopping, having some fun. Remember, it's okay to be a kid. Being a kid is what it's all about, really. So they allow you to be a kid. It's not always performance. Sometimes you need to have a little bit of fun. And by the way, you never know what you're going to get. What's the great thing about all the old families? They're still slowly out there and they still find their way to win all over man it's raining oh right. boy a lot of okay. rain <laughs> on, on that note uh wish everybody happy sunday and we'll be back uh, later on this afternoon to go through all 10 lots where do you guys go to bid feathersleepigeonauctions.com want to give a big thank you to the dishmacher pigeon center and to lars for helping us select these uh 10 incredible lots for you all and that's it ryan wrap it up hey wrap it up adios see you later time to get dry I got to go. Great job, guys. Good luck bidding. And uh, remember, remember, if you snooze, you lose. Thanks for playing with us. Bye for now.